Good evening. Days after an attack on two mosques in New Zealand, a Brampton man has learned that his extended relatives are among the victims. Of nine Pakistani nationals, three have been identified as belonging to a single family with connections here in the GTA. I didn't realize that this is the family that uh, I know and that's had has happened to them. In the past, they were just like that, all three of them gone. Like many Canadian Muslims, Hamid Beg watched the news from New Zealand in horror after gunmen opened fire on two mosques in Christchurch, killing 50 people. It was um, terrible news to hear. Like Things like this should not happen to any um, innocent people, regardless of their religion and faith. Trust me, I had no idea that's what happened to our immediate family there. Family was there. It wasn't until this morning that the Brampton man learned he had a connection to three of the victims. My sister called me from Pakistan this morning, uh, telling the whole story what exactly happened and how devastated the family is. Pakistan's foreign minister confirmed in a tweet this weekend that Zishan Raza, his father, Ghulam Hussein, and his mother, Karam Bibi, were among the dead. They're the immediate family of Beg's cousin's wife. This is a wedding video where the family is coming. Beg and his mother had attended his cousin's wedding in Pakistan back in 2013. There, he met the bride's now deceased mother, seen on the left here in the cream dress, her father, the man closest to the camera with glasses, and her brother, seen here holding a Quran over his sister's head. You wouldn't know that what's going to happen in the future. <laughs> six years later, right? Beautiful family, uh, very down-to-earth um, family. And it was a small family, just the two kids. Um, the parents were very um, nice and polite people. Big says his cousin's wife is devastated after learning she'd lost her entire family thanks to a British media report. I'm being told she's not eating well, she's, she can't sleep. She's going through a lot. And imagine she lost three of the immediate family and the only family. Here is when the event for Umrah. Ghulam and Karam were visiting their oldest son Zishan, who had moved to Christchurch from Pakistan back in 2014. The mechanical engineer had rented a bigger house to host his parents, and the three were attending Friday prayers when they were gunned down. Beg says he's praying for his relative and hopes she can find some comfort, knowing that her family members died while praying to their creator. The only thing when I will talk to her tomorrow, that's the only thing I'm going to tell her, that be, uh, be happy that your parents are in a good place than this place now. And one day we will meet them. Now, Vague says he's been told that his relative will not be able to attend the funeral of her parents and her brother in New Zealand because she hasn't been able to obtain a visa.